consider development. Consider development. State insurance corporation will improve through divestment. We staff becoming shareholders and their jobs no impediment. Oh, good morning, ma'am. What can I do for you this morning? Tell me, sudden. The divestment, divestment, whatever the word is, sudden take place yet? No, ma'am. It has not been implemented as yet. Hey! Well, thank you, Jesus. Mm, thank you, Lord. That means it's too late then. Yes. My name is Beatrice John. I have one little insurance with all your fans since I had a little house. Right. One for the house and the other one for me. Me come fit take them out, please. Come in a one, no problem, tall. Tall, when this divestment something take place. Ma'am, um, listen, there's no need for you to be worried. Both of your policies will be quite fine, even after the divestment takes place. Me no want you not where I have to say no. Can then tell me this way I have to say. Me want old woman, me no walk no way. Me depend upon the little money, my son-in-law, my daughter-in-law send it from America a long time. Me can't continue to pay this, knowing that the world something not going to mash up. So please, me I beg you, sir. Could I just see what you have there? Ma'am, as I said to you earlier, even after the divestment takes place, both of your policies will be fine. Let me try and explain me no to you. Me don't you're not tall. What you have for say? Just do what me say. Miss Beatrice? Hi. It's who that know me so well? It's me, Chantel. Chantel? Chantel who? Chantel for Miss Jennifer, no? Jennifer? Jennifer? Who Jennifer that? Miss Beatrice, Jennifer from down by the pipe, just down the road from your gold pen. Oh, little Chantel? Yes. Is you that get so big? Girl, it's when you come back. I just two days now. I couldn't spend another day in that strange country. I miss sweet auntie. I'm plus up there too cold. Oh, turn round, let see me see, see you. See you you looking well, man. You looking nice. Thanks. Your mother Beatrice. must be proud of you. Yes, yeah, she proud. But on another note, I just overheard you tell the gentleman that you want to close your policy. Does that have anything to do with the divestment that the government will be undertaking shortly? Yes, my child. You can't imagine the foolishness that them people are doing, eh? Well, actually, ma'am, it is not quite foolishness as you put it. It happens to be a very good idea and one that will only benefit Antigans positively in the long run. You must have knocked for your head when you go overseas, go study. If you come back and chat foolishness like them. Miss Beatrice, listen to me. The divestment will not affect you in a negative light at all, you know. As a matter of fact, it will only affect you more positively than negatively because you can expect better terms from the company and even better terms for your insurance policies. So you see, you can expect enhanced products and services both in the general and life insurance market segments. Oh well, that's for them, their business. They want to empower us. So you see, that means that you can buy shares in the company. You lie! No, me not lie at you for you. Oh, what a joke at all me here. You mean for telling me me old Beatrice John can buy a piece of state in to our company? That's exactly what me I tell you. Oh, what is this? But for me advice on them never tell me this. <laughs> well, you need to fire your advice on them because they're obviously leading you astray. You see, Miss Beatrice, what the government is trying to do is to position the company to become more successful. Now, if you and everybody run to the company to close your policies, what do you think will happen? That is when the company will collapse and then everybody will be out on the bread line. Oh dear, I wouldn't want that at all. I know that. You know nobody ever take the time out to explain it to me like you just did. You're kidding. And from what you just said, it sounds like everything in my favor. Of course. But Chantel, tell me so. Mm -hmm. If you may overseas for so long a study, how come you know so much about this divestment business? <laughs> well, a lot of people still have this out of sight, out of mind mentality, but not me. I know that one day I would come back to contribute to my land. After all, it's them that send me away to study. Mm -hmm. So I follow everything on the internet and many other persons are knowledgeable about this whole divestment issue as well. So you see, not because we're separated by water, we still have an interest and we still want to know all that is happening back at home. Oh, so people in America and England and so know what going on Of course. 
We call friends and we call family and some of us get the newspaper from time to time. And remember Miss Beatrice, just by the touch of a button, we on the computer. That put us on the internet and we get to learn whatever it is we want to learn about Antigua. Technology. Mm -hmm. Nice. You know what I'm going to do right now? Miss Beatrice, you're still going to close your policy after everything I just said to you? Chantel, you really knock for your head when you go for overseas, go study. Oh, I am going to take out another policy from the little old chair me buy for the oh, market to start the time. Okay, okay, that's how we move off here, Miss Beatrice. Well, then come back out. Yeah, so you're still selling down by the market? Consider development. Consider development. Forward with development. Support the divestment. For our empowerment. Support 